So for most students, the holidays are a time to take a break from the rigors of school. You gotta catch up on your sleep, spend some time with your family and friends. But this isn't always the case for med students. Whereas most students get to enjoy their holidays off, many third and fourth year medical students have to go into the hospital or clinic for their clerkships. But why is that? What is the value of working holidays as a student? And should it be this way? Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Kevin Jubal, physician entrepreneur based in Las Vegas, formerly in plastic surgery. First, let's talk about why med students do clinical rotations in the first place. What's the purpose of this time during medical school? In the United States, med school is broken down into two phases. The first two years, known as the preclinical years, are your didactic years where you're mostly learning in the classroom. That makes the last two years your clinical years. That's where you have your clinical rotations in a variety of specialties. These rotations allow students to interact with patients in the real world, in the hospital, clinic, et cetera, and apply the information that they've been learning in the classroom. They of course also get firsthand experience in all these different specialties, so they can ultimately decide which specialty they wanna pursue for residency. Now, of course, this sounds all well and good. It sounds very reasonable, but it's not always the learning experience that it's meant to be, and for reasons we'll get into. Next, onto the question, should medical students work holidays? Let's explore both sides of the argument, and at the end, I'm gonna tell you where I stand. Let's start with arguments for working on holidays. Now, as a doctor, you will have to work holidays, and therefore it's good as a medical student, who is soon to be a doctor, to experience those holiday shifts. There are many insights to learn here, including which fields they actually want to choose, such as those that frequently work holidays versus those that don't. The counter argument to this is that don't worry, you'll have plenty of opportunities to miss special occasions and holidays and important events during both residency and also as an attending. Do med students really need to experience this to understand that they might have to work holidays later in their careers? But another argument is that staffing is often tighter on holidays, so it may give medical students the ability to do more than they usually do. Depending on the specialty, holidays sometimes also have lower patient volumes, and that gives the residents and attendings more time for teaching the students and better opportunities for networking as well. The counter argument to this is that it's the holidays and the attending physicians or residents who are teaching the med students, they wanna leave too. They wanna go see their family and spend the holidays how they wanna spend it. So there might even be less opportunities for learning on holidays. Also, you have to remember that med students are in the hospital primarily to learn and the amount of value that they actually provide it varies, right? So oftentimes med students actually slow down the attendings and the residents because the attendings and residents are spending time teaching, answering questions. So having med students on holidays can actually make the residents and attendings days longer too. Another argument for working holidays is that, hey, previous generations, they used to work holidays during med school. So it's only fair that current students should do it too. The counter argument is that it's a pretty stupid argument. Just because previous generations had to deal with it, it doesn't mean that future generations should have to as well. That's the whole nature of improvement, the whole nature of progress. The goal should be to make things better for future generations of doctors and patients, and not to just keep things the same because... I used to walk five miles barefoot in the snow, uphill both ways just to do rectal exams on Christmas Eve, so my students should have to too. All right, now arguments against working holidays. First off, the staff can definitely function without med students. So is it really necessary for them to be there on holidays? Medicine is a very hierarchical field and medical students are often at the bottom of that hierarchy. So despite paying lots in tuition to be in medical school and to learn, during clinical rotations, unfortunately, a lot of medical students are used for scut work that has little to actually do with their learning. And I'm not just talking about holding the retractor for procedures when they can't even see what's happening. I think there actually is some utility in slowly easing into the OR. But things like dispo issues, which come up a lot in the inpatient setting, where you should have social work or other ancillary staff help out, it's not really something the med student is ever gonna be doing uh, when they're a resident or an attending. Uh, things like chasing labs, right? Acquiring medical records, faxing medical records. Clinical rotations should obviously be optimized for learning, but oftentimes, both for med students and for residents, that's not the reality. If it was optimized for learning, things would look very different. You know, giving a med student two days off on a weekend rather than just one day off, I know, blasphemy. How dare you? In the grand scheme of things, it's pretty insignificant and it's not gonna negatively impact that student's ability to learn. In fact, might actually help. 
Another point is that students are paying tuition to be there and to learn, whereas other staff members, including the residents, are getting paid to be there, right? So why should students have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in tuition just to work on holidays? Is it really adding that much more value to their education? And if we're trying to place an emphasis on self-care, mental health, and preventing burnout, why are we making medical students work on holidays that they could otherwise be spending time with friends and family and really recovering, really rejuvenating and warding off the onset of burnout? Now, some schools do leave it up to the attendings to decide whether or not a student needs to come in, but that's not ideal for two reasons. So first of all, a lot of attendings, they're pretty out of touch. They don't remember what it's like to be in med school. And when they think back, they're like, yeah, I used to walk 15 miles uphill in the snow both ways. And therefore these students should come in on these holidays. From my experience, usually the younger attendings are a little bit more chill, laid back. They kind of understand what the med students are going through. Whereas the attendings that are a couple generations removed, they might be more hard asses. I had a mentor who was telling me in the few months before starting residency, at the end of my fourth year of med school, I should use that time to take the most challenging, rigorous rotations that are gonna prepare me for residency. So do ICU, do this, do that. And, you know, I kind of just like smiled and nodded and appreciated his, uh, thanked him for his, his input and advice. But in my head, I was like, hell no, dude, I'm gonna go travel with my friends. Now, the second reason, if you leave it up to the attendings, is that oftentimes you don't know what your schedule looks like until that first day of the rotation. So if you don't find out until you're actually on the rotation, then you don't have enough time to actually plan for your holidays, plan for your travel, etc. And you have to remember that given the competitive nature of med school admissions, a lot of students go to school outside of their home state. So when it comes to travel, they're traveling a longer distance. Students are also usually up to their eyeballs in debt. They can't afford these really expensive last minute tickets and you're adding stress unnecessarily to a situation where it doesn't need to be there. Now, if you leave it to the attendings and the residents, who you have to remember are also the ones providing evaluations to the medical students, it can also make those students fearful of how their preceptors are gonna look at them if they try to ask for time off during the holidays. Will they be thought of as lazy or weak for wanting to spend the holiday with family compared to the students who want to work the holidays to stand out? And is it gonna affect their clerkship grades? And the final argument is that third year med students are already limited for time as is. Holiday time can be really useful, not only to recharge, but also to catch up on studying for shelves and even boards. All right, so my opinion, if you can't already tell, I don't think that medical students should be working on holidays. I think there's more cost there and not enough benefit to warrant it. I think if we're really serious about improving mental well-being for our students and addressing issues like burnout and depression, we need to take a good hard look at the structure of medical education and ask ourselves whether or not the way things are is helpful for students or is it hurting them? And look, Although giving med students time off during the holidays won't solve all the various problems we have with medical education, it may be a good start. But let me know what you guys think with a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Medicine's Dirty Secret or this other video. Much love and I'll see you guys there.